KitKat offers you two ways to start a new project and these are under the file menu you can create a new project like this or you can create a new project from template in this lecture I'll show you how to create a new project from scratch so to do that go to file new project and the save menu will pop up choose a location for your new project I'm going to place it in my KitKat Laka Pro 3rd edition projects directory right here give it a name example new project and ensure that you have clicked on the create a new folder for the project option here if not you should create a new project manually then go in it give your project a name and then click on save button i prefer to just let kick out create a new folder using my project name automatically and therefore that saves me a couple of clicks just a short interruption to let you know that this video is part of my comprehensive KickOut course that will teach you every aspect of creating printed circuit boards with KickOut from scratch. Go to the course page to learn more about it if you want. Find the link to the course page in the description below and treat yourself with a discount coupon for my YouTube viewers. Okay, let's continue with the video. So click on save and you see there's a new project directory created automatically using the name of my new project as I specified and in it you already have three files kickout underscore pro which contains the information that you see here in the main project window so this is project information essentially and you also have a blank file for the schematic and another blank file for the PCB you can see what's inside those files using a text editor so I'm going to use my Atom text editor and I'm going to drag and drop the kickout underscore profile into my text editor and you'll see uh, the contents of this file. The design settings, um, the boards, etc. All of this is text, so human readable, easy to read. Um, the schematic file looks like this, empty, no information other than just the headers and the PCB file also looks like this. This is pretty much now ready to go. You can start with the schematic editor and bring up the schematic editor and then start going through the schematic design process. So I'm going to stop here and uh, I'm going to show you how to start working with the schematic editor in the next section where we'll go through a very simple first project together. Now in the next lecture, I'm going to show you how you can create a new KiCad project from a template.